So I want to change gears a little bit and talk about your time at DoorDash. So something you talked to me about offline was about how you made that position shift to data scientists within the organization. Can you walk me through that a little bit? Yeah. So I actually, uh, I actually originally applied for a data role at DoorDash. And at the time, I was 23, and I didn't have any experience working in a data gig. So, but I put together this presentation, and they were impressed with my attention to detail. So they actually routed me to the ops track. And so I got an operations job, and I was running the, or I was helping run the Bay Area market. And I kind of, in the back of my mind, was just kept thinking, how can I move into that data science role that I really want? And so one thing that was a huge problem at DoorDash, still remains probably a very big problem at DoorDash, was how do we know which restaurants are the best restaurants to be on DoorDash? So at the time, the company was pretty young. I think when I was joined, it was in the 150 to 200 range. I think now it's in the 10 to 12,000 range, something like that. And so the the big like the way that the, the the company was getting to scale and all the competitors were getting to scale was how quickly can we get the best restaurants on our platform and maybe get them exclusive on our platform and so i was actually doing the job on a day-to-day -day basis of going out and trying to sell the restaurants but also still terrible at sales so eventually they just put me inside of the hq and they made me figure out what were the restaurants we need to go after so literally making lead lists and i was making these lead lists and it was based on what I thought was tasty in San Francisco, which is a really terrible way to approach the problem. Um, so over time, I kind of became obsessed with how can we find a way to actually like, in a more data-driven way, like predict what is going to be good uh, on, this, on the site before it comes on the site. And so I was, taking, I was taking courses at night. And so what I would do for those courses is try to actually build my own models to uh, like predictive models to estimate how well a, res a restaurant is going to perform once it's on DoorDash. And so I kept like honing this thing and honing this thing and it still wasn't good. It still wasn't good. And then the company built this feature where consumers could actually request what was on this, like what they wanted on the site. And so this was kind of like a nice light bulb moment where I took this and I remember there was kind of this scrum to figure out, okay, how are we going to do this at scale? Because the company was getting to a point where it was expanding to all of these different markets. And so there was a need for a centralized way to say, this is the value of this restaurant before it's on the site. And I remember I kind of came forward and said, hey, this is a problem I've been working on for some time. I've got some really terrible versions of this model, um, but let's like try out what I'm working on. And so ultimately I was able to partner up with a very talented ML data scientist. Her name is Don Liu, shout out Don Liu. Uh, and we were able to work on, I guess, the first version of what ended up being DoorDash's selection intelligence model. And it, throughout my whole time of working on this, it was, it was like, how can I develop this thing where I cannot be ignored by the company and I can eventually end up on the data science team? And so it was, I was able to take all of this information I had gleaned while in ops and my understanding of this problem actually having to do it by hand, combine it with some amount of data science acumen and then ultimately working with a very talented ML person to kind of formalize it and get it across the finish line. Uh, and we were able to prove out that it was better than how we were doing, how the company was doing it when, they, when people were making lead lists by hand. And then we, that ended up being like the way that DoorDash, it still does, I guess, evaluates like these are the restaurants we need on the site. And then shortly after I was asked to join the data science team. So it worked out. But it was kind of like this project I had in the back of my mind that was in my, it was sort of a fantasy of like, this is going to be the thing that gets me to the point where I want to go. And it, it ultimately ended up working out. 